Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Scooter Vlogs here. Hey, I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys today, you know, a little uh, chat, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's uh, video of the White Lady Castle and uh, Seabreeze. Uh, I thought it was a great video. Um, I got like 105 responses or uh, views already, so I want to thank you guys very, very much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Um, Sorry about my shirt. Usually I wear a Kansas City shirt or some kind of shirt. So, but I, today's laundry day. So right now we're going to uh, this place called Mac Shack where they sell computers. My son, I have to pick up a power brick for my son. And uh, then we'll be headed off and we'll do uh, the laundry mat. Got to fold clothes. Yay. <laughs> and uh, so that's what about where we're at. That's all we're going to do. And then... Uh, and then I, I take my uh, wife to Walmart today. And uh, what else do I got to do? Um, then pretty much after that, um, actually, you know, what I will do is I will take the vi the uh, camera in Walmart and videotape Walmart for you. Uh, just let you know, see inside our Walmart. I know Walmarts are different, you know, in a lot of states. And then, uh, then I have to go to work. So uh, when I go to work, I will do another vlog from work. Uh, things should be different now at the airport. We should be picking up more. Hopefully, we'll be picking up more business today. Um, I noticed that we've been getting a lot more planes in and a lot more people. So um, so that's what we just picked up is uh, my son's cord from the Mac Shack. And uh, man, that was tough getting in there because you can't knock. You have to knock on the door. You can't just walk in anymore. And uh, Basically, my phone was being used, so I couldn't call the guy up, and and uh, so he had to knock on the door like six, seven times before he heard us. Um, but overall, though, my son got a brand new cord for his Mac uh, computer. He's good to go. So from now, right from now on, we're just going to go to the laundromat, which I'm going to record a little bit, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. Until then, hey guys, we're at the laundromat now at uh, Time Saver and uh, I'm about to go in and fold some laundry here. Time Saver laundry, yay! <laughs> All right guys. All right guys, this is the laundry mat. Kind of a cool laundry mat. And just basically just a whole row of dryers here. And there's my dryer, there's, our, there's my sheets. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna be folding now. We'll talk to you guys later when we go to Walmart. Right. Hey guys, I'm going to Walmart right now. So, uh, it'll, I'm going to show you around. Right, so that's it. We'll take you inside. Alright guys, here's Walmart. What do you think? I don't know if it's like any other ordinary Walmart. But um, this is the Walmart Superstore. See the lines of people? Unbelievable. So I don't know if you guys have like a super center or where you guys live, but this is a super center and uh, they sell everything here to clothes, to video games, to every, food, everything. Yep, so that's how we are going here. And look at that big chunk of toilet paper. <laughs> and once again, going here. And here we go, I'll show you some TVs. Got these new games. And then we got the TVs right here. All right, we got what we need. We got two micro connectors for uh, the cell phones that we need for my daughters. And once again, I have to wear this mask because New York State's still under that quarantine thing. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna need to pay for these. Okay guys, we're gonna purchase it now. There we go. Well, we got our candy. That's for my son. And, um, because he does a great job editing all my videos. And, uh, 
I guess that we're going to wrap it up here with Walmart, and I'll see you guys walking into the airport. All right, man. Peace. Hey, guys. I'm at the airport, and uh, actually a plane just landed. I believe it was uh, United. I'm trying to, I was trying to get a picture of it for you, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it's too far away. I was kind of hoping that I'm underneath the landing strip, and uh, well, I was just waiting to see if a plane was going to land, but... Yeah, I don't think we're I don't think we have any luck. But anyways, well that's a good sign that there's a plane that's landed because uh like last week there wasn't hardly any planes that were landing. So uh hopefully, you know, we can see one before we go in. If not, then I'll just show you inside the airport again and um see how many uh scheduled planes we got for tonight and stuff like that. So uh stay with me, okay? All right, until okay, then. guys. I thought this would be kind of cool to see if you guys look at this. Hang on, that's our kind of like where the cars go to pick up people from the airplanes. It's kind of cool, huh? It's kind of like underground a little. Hey, everybody, I was told by my co worker that uh, we only have two planes coming in tonight and that I'm leaving around 10 30. <laughs> so, um, once again, they're business is still not up to par yet we're uh i guess we're still waiting on you know the governor of new york to clear everything before the planes start coming in so right now like i said we only got two planes the last one comes in around 9 30 um so we're gonna do our best to uh whatever we can do tonight until those planes come in and then that's it really and then uh we'll go from there Right now, I'm headed to Alpha 8, which is an American Airlines uh, gate, and we'll wait for you guys to, we'll have to wait for them to come in. Um, actually, hang on one second. I can show you right here when the screen comes up. I'm going to flip you guys around. There you go. Now, I'm going to Alpha 8. Where is Alpha 8? Oh, there it is. But it says 11.02 a.m. But we're not going to do that. So, obviously, it's not on the board sometimes. That means that um, that it's a scheduled flight, but um, it wasn't scheduled to with the airport. So, sometimes that does happen. show you how deserted the aer aer airport is. See, we're still deserted. <laughs> Nobody around. Normally, there'd be people, like, sitting in these chairs, waiting to go on airplanes. Um, there's Southwest, a little ways down there right now, looking for wheelchairs, I don't see any, so, um, if you guys see wheelchairs, let me know, <laughs> alright, uh, so we're moving along here, Alpha 8, I see Alpha 8 down there, and uh, still no chairs, so I'm going to go find a chair, and hopefully uh, there's one around here, because I was told there was. And guys, actually, hang on. Here's an airplane. It says American. There you go. And that one must have just came. I think that came in when I was walking in the parking lot. So we'll zoom in on that. Pretty cool, huh? There you go. All right, guys. Here's Alpha 8. This is where I'm going to be. That's actually a jet bridge. If you guys have never flown before, that's a jet bridge. And that accordion style hookup there goes right to the airplane. And uh, soon enough, our airplane will be here. And see that yellow line right there? That yellow line that the pilot matches his wheels up straight up to that. And he comes right up vertically to this accordion. And that's how people get out. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, here's the other view of that airplane that we just saw. We were like looking head on on it. So this is definitely American Eagle. And it just landed not too long ago. So uh, I had a, I had a see people of, uh, I think people of four people on that plane. <laughs> and like I said, we're expecting two more uh, jets to land tonight. And I don't even know how many people they have in them. The one I'm waiting for on Alpha 8 only has three people. And uh, I don't know which one at the 930 one, how many people that has either. I guess I'm just going to have to hang in tight there do more vlogging with you guys and then we'll uh we'll go from there okay all right guys okay guys here comes our airplane right now it's actually in mid-air landing i think this is american airlines there 
Here you go, touchdown. Oop, you know what? I don't think that's American Airlines. I think that's Federal Express. All right, guys, in just a minute, we're going to see this Federal Express airplane come in. This is like one of the biggest airplanes in all of Rochester uh, Airport that comes in. This, this is like one, I think it is the biggest airplane. Um, so it's all kind of surprises here at the airport. You never know which one's coming in and which one's big or small. You just don't, they come in all sizes, I guess. Yeah, that's FedEx. Yep. That's the biggest airplane we get in Rochester Airport is right there. So, all right, guys, we're going to end this session uh, until later. You can only see enough airplanes. Is that right, guys? So, all right, until then, see you. Okay, guys, we just went to Alpha 8 for the American Airlines. And uh, I'm sorry to say, but I did not get any wheelchair on that one. <laughs> there was only two people on that aircraft, and no one needed it. So, um, until next time, right? All right, guys, the last plane has come in. And uh, the police just told us that we have to get going. So uh, I just wanted to show you real quick on some of the restaurants that are closed that used to be open when the airport was open. Or I mean not open, but when we had business with passengers. Oh, so there's Subway, Dunkin' Donuts. And if we continue walking down here, we actually have another restaurant that's closed too. It's a really cool restaurant. They have like everything under the sun from every single, like almost every restaurant in Rochester. And uh, it's a really good restaurant. So I, if you ever come to the Rochester airport, make sure you visit the Taste of Rochester because it is wicked good. All right, guys, this is the Taste of Rochester. Uh, really good restaurant. They serve like almost everything under the sun from Rochester and Gusto is another really nice restaurant in the, in the uh, Rochester Airport. And then if we keep going, we actually have a Flight Deck Diner. I hear it's really good. I've never been there, but I hear it's really good though. Um, just by uh, passengers telling me that how good it was. They said it's a little bit on the expensive side, but they said overall it was good. And this is our little, this is the diner that just got rebuilt. I don't know, about maybe two years ago. All right, guys, I'm leaving the airport now and my day, my hard work day today has been done. <laughs> I have, I was only here for like what? Maybe three and a half hours, that was it. So, uh, you're gonna walk out with me and I'll show you the empty airport as we leave. There you go, how's that? Hey guys, I just wanted to conclude this tonight and say that uh, I want to thank everybody, including the two new subscribers tonight on my channel. I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. I really do appreciate it. I didn't think that this channel would be successful. I try, I hoped it would have been. But um, it's been very good to me, and I'm going to do another video tomorrow. And um, that's it. So have a great night. Peace.